I went recruiting. So um, got to see uh, a lot of good kids and a lot of good friends that are in coaching right now. You guys had a good game plan for golf last year, it seemed like. Is it kind of the same thing this year with West? Well, we can't tell them. Right. <laughs> I mean, a good performance. I hope so. I mean, you know, um, I think that you don't play golf. You play Cal, right. and you play Cal's system. And um, all the way back when they were at Louisiana Tech, I saw some of that film. They were really, really scary. And I knew eventually that they would do that at Cal, you know. Um, and I don't care who the quarterback is. These, these programs are systematic, and, um, you know, they got a guy that wasn't even there last year. And it, I believe he might be leading the nation in passing offense right now. So, um, you know, our plan is, I mean, we still got to play hard. We got to um, execute. That's all I'm telling my guys. We have to out-execute a team that's really good at what they do. And uh, we haven't been. And so that's my word for the whole week is, is that one word. I keep coming back to it. Do you expect to see Webb, even if it doesn't matter? Just basically yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah. All I know is when we got ready to play Colorado, even though I have a lot of respect for their senior right. quarterback because I think he is a catalyst to their football team because he's really tough. But, again, we're tr you're trying to beat someone's system. And sometimes I go out there and throw the ball and, you know what, I complete about 50% of my passes, you know. So that's pretty, pretty scary. Um, but, yeah, I don't think it matters. You know, uh, sometimes the, the thing Webb does really well, he's a big guy that can throw the ball deep. And he can throw it off his back foot and stuff like that. It makes him really dangerous. I don't certainly know what the other guy, if he played, was like. But I'm sure they, why would they recruit anyone different? And they're recruiting the same type of guy. Obviously, you said you were out recruiting this week, but what's kind of been the response from this team this Monday practice well, it's, today? Uh, I think it's really good news. It's just that it, it doesn't show on the field, but our players practice hard. Um, they come out, they're determined. There's not dissension. There's not weird things that sometimes happen when things aren't going well and you feel a lot of pressure to do well. Um, and I don't see that. And again, I, even black the last Friday, we had a great spirited practice. I, you know, and then that happened on Saturday and it's really tough to um, um, figure some of that out. But attitude's fantastic. And I get, you've got to contribute or um, um, give our head coach credit for that. Because it's easy to start yelling and screaming and pointing fingers. And I've been through it before where that kind of stuff does happen. Maybe not, you know, where you can see it. But um, we haven't lost our kids. And, um, you know, we feel like we can go out Friday night and beat Cal. So that's encouraging, you know. You talk about preparing for a system uh, and not a quarterback. Obviously, golf gone this year. Uh, your DBs have a little bit more experience underneath their belt. How do you think that they're going to match up with that barrier? Well, I mean, these... You know, we've already seen it from Colorado. Colorado and Cal are, are more similar because they um, they run the ball well, and they've got two really good backs at Cal, maybe three. Um, and that, that's made a difference in their program right now. Uh, so you know, it's not so much that you know, we just got to learn how to execute what we do, and we don't do that. And when we don't, it's obvious it's ugly and it's it's um, it hurts, but... Um, you know, that's what we're going back to, try to execute against this um, really, really talented offense. They're really good. As you guys kind of get ready for the second half of the season, you know, three and three last year in the first half, and then you turned it around pretty well. What, what, what has to happen for you guys to make an improvement? We got to win. That's it. We have to win. We have to learn how to win. And uh, win as a team, offensively and defensively and special teams. And, um, so there is no turnaround in a four-game losing streak if you play good and lose. So we got to play great and win. And we're going to have to play great in every game because we don't play anybody that can't move the football or slow us down. So win. Do you guys talk about that with your team at all, that urgency, or is that just kind of understood at this well, point? Well, I hope so. It is understood. You know, you, you, uh, you still have to go back to when people – they talk about things like details, details, details. Well, specifically, a detail is this, and we better get better at tackling. We better make sure against this team that we handle the deep ball because they have scored on everybody on the deep ball more than once. And, um, you know, and then we have to uh, 
put those two things together, those are details. Tackling and playing a deep ball. Keeping the ball in front of us, getting off blocks. And uh, it never ends. It's the, li the, the list is really long. Like a sh shopping list at Costco, and I haven't been there in a year. You know, so that's what we have to do. Coach, you character. He said the the team's attitude is very good. Characterize the mood of the team. I would say it's the same. You know, it's the same. I think it's very positive. It's it's very refreshing. I mean, don't think I don't go into it wondering if some guys are going to start to look for you know, their first Christmas off. You know. Um, but I don't see that. And I think it's credit to starting from our head coach all the way down to our coordinators and, and then the position coaches. And, um, you know, people win or lose, we're ducks. And we have pride in what we do in our program and we represent it. And it's fun to represent it for how many years and have great seasons and, you know, think you're all everything. And all of a sudden it's swept, you know, like right up from under you like a rug. And then you got to see who you are again. Coach, when you're recruiting, obviously if you're recruiting a 